And it was so, you know, for me, refreshing to see you in a role like this. Was it something that just you felt, wow, I, I've never really showcased myself in this way before. This is great. I just wanted to play a character that was the most like me, where I'm at in my life right now. And, uh, you know, this is how I talk to my girlfriends. I am trying to figure out how to make, you know, love and the job work. This is, you know, very close to my life and I found it very real. And I also laugh a lot with my friends and things are funny to us and we are constantly giggling. And so that sort of escapism and joy meets how real the movie gets to me was a no-brainer. I just had to do it. Yeah, I mean, relationships in general are, I mean, just a hard thing to get through. I mean, hello. But trying to do a, a long distance relationship, um, I mean, wow. I've done it my whole life because of my job. So, you know, I just saw this and I was like, oh my God, this is so refreshing. You know, you think of like kids in college and they go off to different schools, it kind of starts there. It's a very, you know, for a lot of people, I don't know, I'd love to know the statistics of how many people are in a long distance relationship, but I feel like maybe it's half of the planet, you know, or going through these same issues. And, you know, you have goals and aspirations and a life path you've set up for yourself, but then you meet someone and you don't want to just be like, you know, career girl on the mountain by yourself and you don't want to like ditch everything for love and find yourself resenting the ever loving crap out of that person because you've given up your life for them. So these are, I think, important, interesting themes that like every person goes through. And I think at the end of the day, you know, when you really fall in love with somebody, you just are really trying hard to figure out how to make it work. But again, you want to be laughing through it. You want it to be because that person gives you so much yeah. joy. You don't want to like not laugh with them. I have a double slot. Um, sorry. Um, so you're on a set. You um, you're working opposite Justin Long, who is just such a you know such a lovely guy. And but the best. you you had a relationship when you were working on this film. Did that make life easier for the two of you, or do you think it was like a little harder? I think that for me, I can't speak for Justin, um, but uh, I know he feels the same way. It was like, we were just like, let's risk just being honest about this, you know? I think if somebody's watching this movie, maybe they might sort of smell the reality and be like, you know what, these are not two actors. We're playing characters, mm -hmm. but it's like, yeah, people do go through this in life, and there's a reality and an honesty in our, you know, whether it's the sort of struggle of how do you maintain a long-distance relationship, or, like, someone who really makes you laugh is worth the struggle. Yeah. So I sort of just said, let's let's do this. It's you know we will be able to be very real about it. Were there any scenes that were uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable for you? Sadly, not. <laughs> when you see the movie, that'll sort of boggle the brain. Um, but no, I you know I just I'm I'm extraordinarily comfortable with him, and you know we couldn't be dearer to each other, and so. I, I thought it was just a real opportunity and a pleasure. And Nanette, being a documentarian, our director, it's like there was just, you know, this ability to sort of be more real uh, about it and let things flow in a certain way. And then, you know, you're working with like Sudeikis and Charlie Day and Christina Applegate and Jim Gaffigan, these brilliant comedians, and we're all just sort of improv And I just think there's like a real color outside the lines kind of feel to this movie. Yeah, I agree. Um, oddly enough, Justin was just telling me that he was pretty comfortable about dropping trow. Go figure. You know, if, uh, if I was him, I would be too. <laughs> okay, now I have to ask you because now that you've done, you know, you're so great at your comedy, your Grey Gardens performance was just beyond belief. Honestly, you're Thank you. so fantastic in that. And congratulations on Thank you your so awards because it was just blew me out of the water. Thank you. Do you find now that you've, you know, dabbled in a little bit of everything, it, what's harder for you, comedy or drama? I think they're I think they're both challenging and I think for me, I just want to keep doing several different tones. I think for me, range is so sexy. I don't want to just do one thing. Um, and uh, I really like lots of different flavors. Um, I think we get in different moods at d different points in our life. We, we want to see different types of movies. Um, but I do want there to be a through line of some level of joy. 
Um, I really don't want to make a film that's sort of in your face. I want you to leave here miserable. Um, I think that's the only sort of genre I'm not necessarily interested in. Yeah. But other than that, I really want to keep it mixed up. Yeah. And what about directing? Are we going to see you do that again? Have you been yes. thinking about that? Yes, you will. I cannot wait. Yeah, oh, you, that was must have been an amazing, amazing experience for you to actually get behind the camera and boss everybody around. I, you know, I, I really, I swear, I'm a really good, nice person to work with. Um, but I, I love that level of involvement and caring about every detail, and I, I really do pour myself into things. And so to be in love and stay in love with something for you know, three years straight, day in and day out, it was just one of the best relationships I've ever had. And I love that movie and I love the experience. And I really look forward to meeting something again that sort of compels me to go there. Yeah, I hope so too. You did a very good job on Thank that. Thank you. So after seeing this film and working on it for so long and really, you know, having such emotional scenes and, and the comedic scenes in this, what advice do you give to somebody to, to try and work out a long distance relationship? I mean, this just may be so personal, but and my my preference. But I just love letters. Start with letters. They're so old-fashioned and romantic and tangible. And you speak to someone in a different way. You can carry that letter around with you. It it is a kind of communication that is really getting lost. And I think that I'm just holding on to it for dear life. I love letters. So you're a writer. I am. Yeah. I am, a, I am a writer. Well, it's interesting because, of course, everybody, you know, texts and their Blackberry and their internet and their Twitter and their Facebook and stuff like that. You're right. It is such a dying yeah. art form. How can we convince people that they've got to get off these, these computers? You can take your emoticon and shove it. <laughs> I mean it. I really don't want it. I don't. That is not love to me. I, I Thinking of you, dot, 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 great. Awesome. How are you thinking about me? What are you thinking? Who are you? What's going on? I just need the more like personal interfacing. I really do. I do not know how to survive in this day and age right now with technology. But I do know that I've got to find my way through it and navigate through the waters because this is where we're at and I do want to embrace it. Yeah. Did you find doing a lot of improv on this? Um, you know, so I'm thinking particularly about the scene when you were, you know, you find out you didn't get the job and you're going a little bit nuts in the in the restaurant scene and I That's, just thought, yeah. wow, wow, you really let go in that. Yeah, I, I you know, I, I, I have, you know, tons of silly, uh, hopefully laughable, dark anger, and I was able to, you know, Nanette and I just, I was like, please, just let me go off and fly here, and it was great working with her because it was just, you know, we all got the chance to, like, swing at things, and, you know... I'm sorry, but I have had a bad day and I have gone out and I have let loose and I have screamed some antics and it feels good. It, does. it is good. It does. Well, you did a very good job in this. It's great to see you. Very refreshing. And uh, keep you. up the great work. And hopefully we will see you back in Toronto maybe next year with another directing uh, project. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I'm putting you I'm on there. Killing <laughs> myself. Putting you on the spot. Thanks, Thank you Drew. so much. Thank you. Have Thank a good you. day.